Welcome to my 2019 demo of Basecamp project management software. If you sign up for a free trial, they've got 30 days of free trial before you need to buy it. Um, you'll come through to this screen and from this screen, I'll give you a little whirlwind tour of what's happening here. So we've got pings, which is messages related to you. We've got hey, which is notifications of things going on in your account. We also have activity around a whole lot of things, overdue um, to-dos, upcoming dates, someone else's activities. So you can see all of that from within here. Let's just jump into someone else, see what someone else has been working on. You can also see my stuff, which is just related to everything that you've been doing on the account. And you can also do a search across all of Basecamp to find what you need. Um, they do have an admin section over on the side here where you can change up things according to your specific needs. Now we have um, a company level, we have a team level, and then we have a project level, pretty similar to a demo that I just did recently for Asana where they also have teams and then projects within those teams. So if you're creating a new project, you can see that I've got one here, redesigning sample, where um, it just breaks it down into all these different sections, which we'll go into in a moment. But what I might do is jump into the sample one they have for making a podcast, um, and then I can show you around. Um, so we have the title of it, we have a description here, we have the people who have been added into the project. So you can see it is really a one page view of everything going on on this particular project. I can click on here and I can edit that name and description. I can also change the tools that are used on here. So off all of those cards that were showing up, there was like campfire and message board for doing um, messages. There was to-do lists, scheduling, check-ins, docs and files, and you can also turn on email forwarding as well. Um, so you can have all of those either turned off or on on each of your projects, depending on what things you want to be using. Um, but it's really handy to have this one page view. And let me just jump into Campfire so you can see all the conversation, the kind of chatter going on around this particular project. And then we've got the message board where it's just set into um, writing a message and then um, you can see down the bottom here that you have replies back to it. So it's almost like having your own company blog, having that message board. Um, and then we have a to-do section which is separated out into lists um, and you can see each of the to-dos under those lists. Really simple to be able to turn those off and if I click into them you can see who it's assigned to, due dates, comments, um, and also who gets updates about who um, about what's going on with those particular to-dos as well. We have a schedule. So this is like a, a team calendar for this particular project. So you can see that um, there's some recording dates for the podcast showing up here. You kind of click across, find out um, what's going on on a project from that schedule view as well. You can have these automated check-ins set up um, so you can ask questions on a one-off or ongoing basis um, and these get asked to your team. So that's a really nice way of doing a check-in for your team and seeing what people are feeling about the project um, and if there's any kind of common responses that you're getting back for that. And then we also have the docs and files related to this particular project. Now, um, there are other sections where you can kind of add in notes and um, updates on the projects. So this is probably going to be more towards kind of images and files related to it. Um, I'll show you here. So you can either start your own doc or you can upload them from within here as well. Um, so that gives you a kind of whirlwind tour of what's within each of the projects. So you can set each of these up. You can set the permissions of who can see them. Um, and so then you can have, say, particular teams only or particular people only be able to view particular types of projects. Um, but all in all, Basecamp is a robust tool. There's some really um, human centered design preferences that they put in there, even around notifications and the timing of those. Um, so I definitely would recommend that you give it a try.